this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use MIDAS support and resistance and parallel offset curves. Start like we always do by downloading some data from Yahoo. I'll get S&P 500 daily bars dating back into 2007 when the bear market began. Now in a MIDAS analysis we always use the midpoint of the bar instead of the close. So I'm replacing close column with the average of the high and low. Copy that formula down. In the chart we have daily bars dating back to 2007. Let's bring up the Midas toolbar and put in a support curve or a resistance curve in this case for placed off the bear market high. On the toolbar we have the support and resistance curve, the top finder curve, the average, the parallel offset, and on balance volume. We also have arrows to move the curves left or right or up and down in the case of the top finder. So that's our resistance curve coming off the top of the, the bear market high or the beginning of the bear market. I'll put a parallel offset off that first low and you can see that was helpful. It just showed us when to expect a rally and then more recently where to expect resistance. Support becomes resistance. Let's add another support curve or resistance curve. Yellow is hard to see. I always change yellow to some other color. That's better. Now let's make a parallel offset. Well, let's do a support curve off that secondary high when the bear market really took off. You see the market didn't quite pull back to that, so let's shift that curve to the right until it fits the market data there by pressing those arrows. Also if you hold down the shift key when you press the arrow it'll move five bars instead of just one. Now I'll put in a parallel offset and look how that one helped us. It told us exactly when to expect the bear market low. Now, since we're in an uptrend, we can put in a, a support curve off that bear market low. I'll do a parallel offset on that one. And you can see that price uh, pretty much followed that uh, support, that resistance curve. That's uh, Midas support and resistance with parallel offsets.